Hey there, I'm Ken. I'm ClickUp's product strategist. And here are the top five mistakes new users make when building on ClickUp. Joining me today, we've got our vetted consultants, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Siobhan Whelan, and I'm based in Napa, California, and I've been a vet vetted consultant since the program began in 2020. Awesome. Hey, I'm Matthew Slesing. I'm based in Poland. I'm a vetted consultant for more than three years already. Hi, I'm Megan Beltikolo, and I'm located in Pennsylvania in the U.S., and I've been a vetted consultant since the program began back in 2020. All right, Megan, go for the first one then. For number one, overtasking. New ClickUp users often make every tiny thing a task or a subtask instead of storing that information elsewhere, like in an SOP or in a ClickUp doc. Example would be making a task called log into your account, when really we want the tasks to be action oriented and to keep the additional information either in the task description or elsewhere. Really make use of the task description and use that area to put in all the important information that you may need to get the task done, links, references, steps that you may need to take. If there's anything related to the task that needs to be done on a different day, that's when I would say move that down to a subtask. Okay, Siobhan, let's go for the second one. Okay, number two, the biggest mistake that I see is people immediately start building in ClickUp without first defining their processes. It's very important to know, to lay out your processes first, to know exactly how you want your ClickUp to be set up and to build ClickUp. It's really important to get all of your workflows documented first, so that way you can build up ClickUp from a more strategic standpoint. That makes sense, yeah. Uh, any advices on how to do that? Like, have you found any tips that help with mapping out your processes? Yeah, I think it's really important to meet with the people that actually do the work and to just take an hour and meet step by step, just map out what the process is and how it all works together. So that way you can make sure that ClickUp is set up in the simplest way possible and that it works for the people that are actually doing the job. Cool. All right, Matthias. Okay, so number three is using statuses as stages or tags. So statuses as a best practice should be used as a reflection of how you're progressing on an activity, on a task. They shouldn't reflect on responsibilities or steps that you need to do for a project. If you want to say this is a meeting, this shouldn't be a status. You should use custom fields or tags to be able to display it. That's good if you want something else. No, that's <laughs> good. And what do you mean by don't use status as a stages? Why shouldn't a user do that? Because they usually are connected with changes of responsibilities. It's hard to track when we started and when we finished the activity, when we are just changing statuses. So ClickUp is not registering properly the flow of the work on this particular task. It's better to use custom fields for this or use the hierarchy to have the processes, use automations to move tasks or later. Where each together. list is a stage, perhaps. For example, yes. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And for number four, it's really important to make sure that when you're adding custom fields, you're adding them in the right place. So you don't want to add a custom field at the workspace level, but you want to add the custom field at the lowest level of the hierarchy where it's relevant. So the reason you don't want to add a custom field to the everything view or everything level is because if you were to add a custom field here, it would add it on to every single task in your workspace. Instead, what you want to do is navigate to the exact list, folder, or space that you want to add the custom field to and add it in that location. And then you want to make sure that you're reusing your custom field instead of creating a new, for example, email custom field every time. So you don't wind up with like 33 email custom fields. You want to always reuse them and make sure they're at the right place. Awesome. And what's an example of like, oh, the right place? Can you give us like one like real world example? Yeah. So if you have like a checkbox that's like documents received, let's say, and you want to have that in one of your lists, you want to make sure that you add that custom field for that checkbox documents received at that list level, then show on every single task in your workspace. If you then need to add it in a different space or a different folder or a different list, you can go into the customs field library and reuse that 
custom field that you've already created. For our fifth and final mistake, we often see users build way too complex of a hierarchy. And rather than using views, which is really the power of ClickUp, they'll build more lists or folders or spaces. I think one of the examples you gave me uh, was a user who was just building multiple lists down the side of their hierarchy, duplicating the same data over and over again to view it in different formats. Whereas instead of creating five different lists, they could have just created one list and had five views to easily access all their information in one location. Yeah, definitely shows the power of views there.